Hey guys, so this is uh, NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. Uh, in the last episode we made it to the department, so while we did more than that actually, we uh, did some miniature grinding around Foresight and then we came into the department store and Cassie has now been kidnapped from an evil spirit and this place has now been possessed and it's all dark and gloomy and spooky and scary and I think I might crap my pants because of the thought of it. Oh my god, it's so scary! <sighs> okay, okay, calm, so calm yourself dude, calm yourself. Shulk. Customer Shulk, please hurry to Cassia. Gwar! Um, so we got one more floor left to go and we should be there. Uh, oh great, there's presents waiting up at the top of the stairs for me. How fabulous. Alright, so there's two record players that we need to fight and then we should be there. I remember I remember recording, you know, my, like my last uh like the first LP of this that I did um, a few years back, I remember getting to this part of the game and fighting the boss, and I just remember struggling at it for some weird reason. I I remember sitting there for about an hour trying to beat it, and I was like so happy when I finally did. <laughs> I just I just remember that. That's one of the memories about that whole let's play that sticks to my memory is fighting this boss. And then beating it. And I just remember the satisfaction of beating it. I was like so happy. Oh great, we got a musical guitar. Well, we managed to get here with full PSI, so that's something to feel happy about. Okay, that's not good. Use one of your lightning attacks so that on their mind. We managed to wake up pretty quickly. Alright. Um, before we actually go into this fight, I'm gonna get myself healed up first. That's gonna be the primary, um, primary thing to do. I think I'm gonna start out this fight by, um, I don't have, I don't think I have any assist kind of things like defense down or offense up. I don't have any of those things. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off the fight by firing bot big bottle rockets. Shulk, customer Shulk, Gorg, Gorg, because I've got two bottle rockets, I might as well just use them to my disposal, you know, and this is probably the best opportunity, or the best place to do it. Gorg, Gorg, you finally made it, this department store is going to be your grave, Gwar, you'll be gone and you'll be burning in, well, you'll go to heaven. <laughs> I think you meant to say you'll be burning in hell, but okay, I guess you just didn't want to be as, you just didn't want to be mean. Maybe this guy's nice, maybe he has a heart, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, well, Shulk obviously has to attack, so... Uh, I think actually Hypnosis works on this guy. But I think only Amiga works, not Alpha, so I'm going to try Sleep and see if this works. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does work, it puts him to sleep. Um... But it doesn't last for long, apparently. Okay, I'm not going to bother with that, because that wastes 18 fucking PP, so... Pardon my language, but yeah, it wastes 18 PP, and there's no point if it's just going to wake up the next turn. So, we're going to go out and fire some bottle rockets at this guy. Which does a lot of damage. I think big bot rockets do up to, like, 300 damage, which is really good. So... But you got to be careful of this guy, because he can drain your PP away. And you need PP to heal yourself, and if you don't have any, anything to heal with, then you're kind of screwed, aren't you? Uh, what the hell did I just do? I pressed A, I pressed, um, a by accident, and now, it, yeah, he knows Freeze Alpha. Freeze Alpha. Uh, uh, yeah, I used a bad key machine, I didn't want to do that. Alright, so, heal Beta on Tyler, oh, no, on Shulk, and uh, we'll go out with a big ball rocket. Yeah, I'm not messing around with this fight because you don't have Cassia to help you with help you in it. And if you had Cassia, it would make this fight a lot more easier. But anyway, he's defeated. Department sp store spook was defeated, and you get twelve thousand experience for us. So that's a lot. Shulk's level is now forty. Shulk's level is now forty-four. Oh baby, offense went up by four. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by two. Vitality went up by two. IQ went up by two. Luck went up by one. Sweet maximum HP went up by twenty-four. That rocks. Maximum PP went up by nine. Tyler's level went up to thirty-eight. IQ went up by one. That's some HP by three. So there you go. Got some levels out of it too. Even though you could beat me, Master Gygas will avenge me. 
At this moment, Cassio should be Monotoli. Gorg should be Monotoli. Cassio should be Monotoli. That doesn't sound right. Well, so now the department store has been restored back to its former self. So that's cool. Um, and now I don't, I truly don't know what we have to do. I think it's Moonside next, which is a very weird place. Um, to be honest with you, I, now I think grinding in Moonside would probably be best because you can stay there for free. I think you don't have to pay to stay in the hotel in that place. So it's better just to wait to get to Moonside before we start doing any more grinding, which I'll have to do off screen. Um, but I think we can go to Moonside now, actually, and that's the next place we have to go to. Um, so that's where we're going to head over. And you can find Moonside in the Foreside caf Cafeteria. Um, it should be down in the corner, around here somewhere, I think. But yeah, yeah, I think you have to go in the cafe first, and then you talk to the people in here. And then you go outside and you see like a guy laying dead on the on the path on the sidewalk outside there's a loud noise outside it must be the seventh inning stretch and the fans are singing take me out to the ball game at the stadium <laughs> i used to be monotoli's employer then i realized this his schemes made me made my company go bankrupt my house and land were taken away now i'm homeless monotoli didn't used to be so powerful i want to find out his secret so i'm spending my time here Watching to see if he ever drops in. What? Does Mr. Geldegard Montoli come come here often? Hello. Time to get up. It could never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. <laughs> if you eat one now, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four's left. Ah, it's not funny. Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, that was pretty riveting. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz, and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall inst instead of the restroom door. The next thing I knew, someone asked, Who is it? And really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. Maybe. It's kind of spooky, though. Guy to be standing behind a wall. Uh, Yeah, so, as you can see, it's freaking uh, Everdread, who's collapsed outside on the pathway. Oh, I don't, I don't like seeing a corpse around here. <laughs> He's breathing. He he has just has he just been playing too hard. <laughs> yeah, he's playing dead, all right. Don't cut in front of me. If you give me something, I'll let you have my spot. Will you give me something? Yes. Yeah, so what do I get? Uh, we'll give him something crappy, I guess. Like uh, oh, I really don't want to have to give up one of my PSI caramels. I really don't want to have to do that. Oh, screw it. Are you sure? Yes. All right, take my place. I have no choice. I wasn't going to go to the bakery and just buy a bread, buy a bread, and then give it to him. I wasn't going to do that. Wheeze, wheeze! Aren't you Shulk? I can't see too well. Everything's blurry. You are Shulk, aren't you? Nah, dude, you've just been drinking too much alcohol. I don't know where you've been, but the cafe doesn't surely doesn't sell alcohol. <laughs> it's me. We met in Tucson, Everdread from Berglund Park. Unless they spike their drinks with vodka. I mean, that's possible. <laughs> You must remember, I'm the best thief around. That carpenter in Happy Happy Village was hiding something. Wheeze, wheeze, strange, I stole it, and I thought about selling it in the big city. An old city wise man called it Manny Manny. It's a strange colored doll looking thing. Oh, wheeze, I'm in pain, and Monotoli tricked me and stole it from me. He tricked a thief. He wanted me to go out the way because I knew his secret. He gets his evil power from that statue. Listen. I'll tell you only once. At the cafe, check behind the counter. Gasp. I said, I'd tell you only once, but if you insist, I'll tell you once more. Gasp, gasp. Do you want to hear it again? No, I do not. Before I go, here's my last haiku, po haiku poem. When on your way out, be sure you, that you say goodbye. Then lock the door tight. This is my final request. Don't follow me. I must be on my way. Whoa, so long. <laughs> 
Goodbye, Everdread, my friend. I will see you in another lifetime, I guess. Because that's the last time. I think that's the last appearance he makes of the game. He stared right at me. Ooh, it was scary. <laughs> Is that man going to... To to what? Kill someone? Do you know him? You must be a dangerous kid. I'll bet you are on your way to Jackie's calf right now. He should really go to the hospital like other sick people do. <laughs> He's not dead. I thought he may have passed on. Yeah, that's what everyone thought. Everdread's just one of those crafty little people that knows how to trick people, I guess. Uh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Well, what's going on? Something weird's happening. And everybody, welcome to Moonside. Yes, we're on a huge acid trip here, as you can plainly see. Robopump! So yeah, we got five Robopumps now. These thing, these enemies are like one of them enemies that self-destruct when they reach one. Well, when they reach zero, they self-destruct and do serious damage against you. So make sure that doesn't happen. There's actually quite quite a few good items you can pick up here, but this is a one at one of a lifetime opportunity to come here because you only come and come to this area in the game once. As, as soon as you've done everything in, that needs to be done in this place, uh, you can never go back. What, Foresight? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. Yes, that, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. Yes is no, and no is yes. It makes perfect sense, Moonside. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? Everyone's going all crazy. People are just using reversed... Um, reverse psychology or whatever, I don't know. trying to trick us by saying yes means no and no means yes I'm trying to mess with us and we've got some really trippy backgrounds here as well and some good experience so this is going to be the place where I'll grind but I'll do it all off screen uh, to get some decent levels here for uh, Shulk and Tyler Yeah, there's a lot of enemies wandering around out here, but the what you have to do to get through this place, you have to talk to people, and um, the way how you navigate is you talk to these um, people wearing sunshades, and what they do, they teleport you to different places around Moonside that you can't actually get to just by walking to the to them. Um, there's certain ones you have to talk to to take you to certain places, and certain places have certain items that you can get, um, so you have to make sure you talk to the right people. In order to get around. Oh, it's a. Uh, is that a fire hydrant? Engaged. In, enraged fire plug. Oh, right. Something must have really pissed this thing off to get enraged. Huh. Um. Yeah, I think I will end off the video here, and we'll have a a lot um, a much more detailed look into this area in the next episode. So, in the next episode, let's play Earthbound. We shall. Oh God, I'm about to be attacked. Okay, never mind. We'll just get through this battle, and then I'll end off the video properly. <laughs> I don't want to end off the video halfway in the middle of a battle, you know. Freaking abstract arts. So that's supposed to be a snowman yeah, and a moon. Yeah, snowman. All right, I'm gonna try and get into the calf. Well, actually, no. I'll, I'll, never mind. Okay, I went into the calf, but I didn't want to. But all right, guys, I'll end off the episode here and continue on the next episode. So yeah, in the next episode of Let's Play Earthbound, we shall take a more detailed look into Moonside and see what we got to do here. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on the next video, and goodbye.